welcome to the Food and Beverage Leaders Podcast. I'm Andy Barr, owner of Barr Transportation. We're so glad you joined us today. Now, our mission here is very simple at Barr Transportation. It's to provide you with the most reliable and honest national transportation for your goods, paired with proactive communication throughout the entire life of the load. Now, this podcast is designed exactly for you. It's for sales managers, produce managers, logistics managers, staff managers, the entire C-suite, anyone else who really wants to perform at the top of their game in this global food and beverage industry. So whether you're big or small, West Coast or East Coast, this podcast is meant for you. Now make sure to stick around at the end of each show and we'll reveal how you can apply to be on the show yourself so you can grow your authority, build partnerships, and help your business boom. Interviews are about 15 to 20 minutes long and I'll leave you with my favorite quote, preparation plus opportunity equals success. That's it. I'll see you on the inside. Enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Food and Beverage Leaders Podcast. I am Ben Cummings, your host, and today I have with me a very special guest, the founder of Bar Transportation, Andy Barr himself. Andy, how are you? Doing great. Doing great. Thanks for uh, setting this up. Excited about it. Yeah, let's get started. So uh, what is Bar Transportation? What do you do? Sure. So great question. So we are a truck broker. So we don't sell trucks. We actually broker the transportation of, we broker the transportation. And basically, we're the middleman between carriers and shippers. And I can go into much deeper than that, but that is what we do. Okay. And what what is this podcast going to be all about? Who are we talking to? Sure. So this podcast is for food and beverage leaders, uh, people who are part of the C-suite. They are sales executives. They are shipping managers. They might work um, as a grower. They might be a consumer goods company. But essentially, they are either a shipping manager, a sales executive, any part of the C-suite, uh, really a uh, top performer or an executive, and they just want to be at the top of the game and learn as much as they can about their industry. And and uh, that's why we have, have the podcast. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to learn about the food and beverage industry, too. All right. So what kind of topics are we going to cover then? Yeah, so go over supply and demand swings, obviously with COVID, a lot going on mm. with, you know, just things that are dead silent and then the opposite, just full on everyone ordering. Uh, you've got seasons, you've got technology with just different labeling systems, different self-driving trucks. Uh, you've got opportunities too with uh, different products. You've got the issues of uh, freight being on barges outside of Los Angeles, you know, stuck out there for weeks because of the LA backup. You just got all sorts of things. So whether it's LA or New York, or you're a small uh, one person company or a $1 billion company, you know, it's meant for everybody. So is there anything that you've noticed in the industry yourself, like with regards to supply and demand, stuff like that, that has been changing the last little while? I would say that, you know, it's, it's very just off and on, not consistent at all. And over the past 18 months, it's been extremely tight as far as trucking goes. So uh, there are high rates, there is low capacity, and it's the more advanced notice, the better, right, you have in, in your loads. But that's not always the case with cons- with customers and their customer requests are sometimes last minute and you just got to adjust. Well, and with food, things are constantly like there's a time limit on it, right? Like you can't sit on those loads typically for a while. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a steel beam that can sit in the yard for three weeks, right? Until you get the perfect rate. No, no. This is, you know, avocados, it's meat, it's seafood, it's sunflower seeds, it's, you know, anything and everything that you could find at a Harris Teeter or um, HEB, you know, it, it's really something that has to move when it moves. Yeah. Now, is there any tech innovations that you're noticing that are popping up right now that are really changing the game? Uh, we're, saw, we're seeing some websites out there that will, you know, be a, a kind of like an Uber, uh, be the technology behind a broker. Uh, we're seeing self-driving trucks. We're seeing a lot of uh, quality control aspects and tools that you can implement in different transportation management systems. It's kind of like a the backend software that help us organize our company. So what is what's changing in the game right now? What are some things that you've seen that like right now needs to be implemented that are coming right up? 
I would say you just have to uh, be ready to have a, an open mind with what's going on. Like sometimes customers kind of get into a uh, comfortable situation where they've always worked with the same companies to move their freight and they can be picky and then that's it. Yeah. But really because of the demand and the shortage of, of companies and drivers for a matter, because you can have as much equipment as you want, but it's drivers, you know, yeah. there not a lot of people are entering this industry. So you have to really be open-minded to new companies. Um, but you also want to make sure you're working with qualified new companies, right? So it's, it's a balance of getting extra help, but making sure that extra help is good. Is that something you've seen with people uh, or your biggest constraint has been staffing issues for truckers? I mean, yeah, yeah. Drivers always, always, you know, drivers get bonuses, right? When they switch carriers. So, you know, you can't do that too much because then they'll figure out what you're doing, yeah. but you know, they get a $3,000 bonus when you switch and not to bash drivers, you know, of course, you know, you capitalism, I'm not going to well, bang I think it. It happens in, in many industries too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, a lot of guys are retiring. Not a lot of people are entering the industry. Yeah. And then you've got just demand swings and the, a lot of demand with, uh, with COVID. Well, and that's where things will get interesting with regards to automation, sort of like you mentioned, that it'll be cool to see what's sort of coming down the pipe with, I think Tesla has some cyber trucks and different things that are, if things can get automated to a point where you don't need that, but you'll need more ops managers and people to deal with the tech will be pretty cool. Right, right, yeah. And, you know, if you're a sales professional, right, you usually just think about sales and trying to sell your onions from A to B. You buy in Washington, you sell them in Indiana or, you know, whatever it is. But now you're thinking, okay, well, I have onions, to, uh, an onion order, but do I have a truck to go with it? Yeah. Because I, I it? yeah, yeah. It's like, I, I, you know, in the past, sure, I always had, I always figured out. But now it's a little bit more interesting, let's just say. Okay, I think you said it before, but tell me again, who is this podcast going to be for? Sure, this is for the C-suite. This is for managers, traffic managers, sales managers, um, just anyone really who wants to be better at what they do. Uh, this is a platform to share and learn. And any of our guests that we, we come on are going to be like the people who listen to it, like their peers. So it's, it's, we really want to encourage people to just, just dump value. Don't be afraid of like, you know, holding in secrets, mm. really, really just double down on the value and it all comes back tenfold. Well, and like you say that there is some people can be going with the same trucking company year after year and it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt to open up your mind to, to new companies and be able to move forward and try new things for sure. Absolutely. And always have a backup plan. You know, yeah. I mean, it's never bad to have a backup plan. Absolutely. Now, is there any advice that you would give to people or any advice that you live by? Uh, as far as uh, personal development? Or... Yeah, any just life advice that you would give to people? Life advice that I would give to people? Yeah. Well, after 36 years on this earth, <laughs> uh, you know, of course, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, not a chicken, but I'm not a, you know, a grandpa either. I would, I would say, you know, life happens for you, not to you. That's mm. a Tony Robbins quote. Uh, speaking, just being proactive and being positive and uh, controlling the controllables. Well, and like you say, the game is constantly changing and think I'm actually really excited for this podcast. I think it'll be fun to learn a lot about the industry, but not only that, be able to learn from people in the industry and see some of the issues that they've seen and hopefully we'll be able to help people mitigate that in the future. Yeah. I mean, when you think about the food and beverage industry, you know, you might think of grocery stores and that's about it. But, you know, you've got like the little boutique stores and the chocolate factories and water companies and just so many different aspects. And then also, is it made in America? Is it imported from overseas? Mm. Uh, what's the lag time on that? What's what are the challenges because it's made overseas versus here or vice versa? You know, so a lot to just talk about. And when I, we created this podcast because we did some research and we didn't find anything out there that was really addressing B to B food and beverage education. Right. So there is, there are some podcasts out there that talk about like how to brew your own beer and how to, you know, make a, you know, a casserole, but nothing on a, like a B to B level. And we felt like this would be helpful. So 
It's such a big industry. And I feel it's something that people can often overlook. Like you said earlier, it's easy to think about, okay, I've got this order and then I'm going to receive this order. But what happens in between is something that a lot of people overlook. Right, right. You know, and they get, you know, 99 times or 98 or 95% of the time, it shows up on time, perfect like that. But, you know, you just got to understand all aspects. So the more you understand, the better prepared you are. Well, and look what happened in the Suez Canal recently, right? Things can things can change and there can be issues. Just a little bit, yes. <laughs> For uh, sure. So where can people learn more about uh, bar transportation or about yourself? Sure. So I'm on LinkedIn, Andy Barr, and then the website is www.bahrtrans, so bar trans, short for transportation.com. Awesome. Andy, thank you so very much. Again, this is the Food and Beverage Leaders podcast. Stay tuned for some amazing episodes. Andy, thank you. Thank you, Ben. Take care. All right, all right. Thank you for listening to the Food and Beverage Leaders Podcast. I'm Andy Barr of Bar Transportation. Now, if you are a successful leader in the food and beverage space, believe in your company, and want to share your story, really look no further. All you have to do is go to bartrans, B-A-H-R-T-R-A-N-S dot com forward slash podcast forward slash apply to apply to be on the show. Lastly, if you enjoyed listening to our show, please consider sharing the link or a screenshot on your social media account. We want to help as many people as possible truly believe education and discussion is where it all starts. Of course, if you know someone that would be a great guest, connect with us and we'll explore to see if it's a good fit. Again, thank you for listening to the Food and Beverage Leaders Podcast. And as always, we'll leave you with our favorite quote, preparation plus opportunity equals success. Now go crush life and we'll see you again soon.